Look, Madison, Madison, Madison. It, if I didn't think that there was more than what you're telling me, then I would back off. I'd leave it alone. And maybe I should. I mean, if I'm putting your health at risk here, if, if your anger at me is putting you in jeopardy... Stop you... being so nice, okay? Because all this is doing, as sweet as it is, is it's reminding me of what I lost. Okay, so please, please, just stop. Stop coming around and making doctor's appointments and trying to take care of me, okay? I need to stand on my own two feet again. Let me take care of myself. I know I've been pushing too hard, trying to fix things between us, but I'll try to stop doing that. I think you should also keep your distance from Madison and my mother as well. Madison, I get, but Erica's going to marry my father, so like it or not, I'm going to be around. She just got indicted for attempted murder. Oh my God, I didn't know. I'm sorry. Oh. It's just another casualty of your marriage to David. Have a great Christmas, Greenlee. Somebody should. Well, more congratulatory calls. Has JR headed for the lifeboats yet? When were you going to tell me about the indictment? I thought it could wait. Dorothy, I'm your lawyer. I need to know these things. Well, you don't have a cell phone. I couldn't reach you. And for once, I was glad I couldn't. No, 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 no. You didn't want to spoil my victory. You didn't want to rain on my parade. Well, it's not every day you get a smile out of Caleb Portland. I understand you being worried about this. Caleb, I'm so worried about my family. I don't want them dragged into this. That's not going to be so easy. I don't care if it's easy. Whatever it takes, keep them out of this. Does Jack know about Kendall? No. Complicated because of Greenlee. So this stays in the dark? It has to. Boy, you're not making this easy on me. Oh, come on. For the man who just brought down the Chandlers? Little old attempted murder charge? I thought that'd be a piece of cake after that. I think you should call Adam. I'll be right here with you. I don't really feel like doing that right now. Because? Do I need to make you a list? Because you're a screw-up? You let that mountain man get the best of you because you're a damn disappointment to me, JR. Or maybe he's calling to strategize your next move or to offer you some encouragement or to wish you a Merry Christmas. You're not going to know unless you call him. You know, I'm not afraid to be blasted by him. I've dealt with that my whole life. What I'm afraid of is that <sighs> maybe he's right. I say he's not. Really? After everything I've done to you? This isn't about us or what happened. Okay, this is... This is about the man I fell in love with. The strong, kind, decent man who still shows up every once in a while when you let him. It's a lot easier for him to show up When I'm around you. Whatever Adam says, you can handle it. Just like someday if our son messes up and feels bad about himself, you'll reach out to him with love and respect. Because you've been there and you know how it feels. I know that this looks bad right now. But I want you to know we're working on this 24-7. 
I've already called an emergency meeting with the board. Uh, I've spoke to the investment partners. Yeah, I know that you're worried, okay? But we're gonna come back from this. We're gonna come back even stronger. We are Chandlers, right? Of course, I'll keep you informed. No. Uh, wait, Dad. Merry Christmas. Not as bad as you thought? Wasn't great, but it was okay. I think he's finally listening. I'm glad. Marissa, I just want you to know that I wouldn't have been able to do this without you here. You would have. You're a much better man than you think you are. Okay, I better put AJ's present somewhere he won't miss it. Marissa, you know how much this means to me. you don't get the wrong idea about my keeping what Kendall did from Jack. I get it. It has nothing to do with my case. No, you're protecting your family. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm awfully grateful that you trust me enough to know that I put my family first. Oh, I do trust you. Do you trust me? Okay, um, tell you what, sweetie. What do you say we order pizza for dinner? It's your favorite. No, I want Daddy Zach and Ian wants him too. I know, honey. I know, but I told you Daddy Zach can't be here right now. Well, I want my dad. Um, maybe tomorrow, okay? No, now. I'm sorry, Spikey, but we just, we, we can, okay? Spike! I just spoke to Madison. Seems to me the word no doesn't mean a whole hell of a lot to you, does it? Look, I thought something was wrong, so I made an appointment with a specialist. You don't like that, then I don't really care. She's getting all the help she needs, but she doesn't want it from you. All right? Hey. Um, can you come over, please? I thought you just said... Forget what I just told you. you. You told me if we ever needed you that you would come. Well, Spike needs you now. I'm on my way. Sorry to <clears throat> bother you. I was able to postpone that conference call you wanted. Thanks. I know you're busy. I'll talk to you later. You just, you just left me, Jr. I, I thought if something huge happened in your life, I thought you would, thought you would turn to me. Sorry. I just reacted. I wasn't thinking. I, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. I don't like being this person, Jr. Needy. Insecure, not knowing where I stand with you. I want to be your partner. You are. Well, sometimes it doesn't feel like that. Look, just. So, you know, you're not the only person that gets insecure sometimes. My father called, and I froze. Uh, it's like a deer in headlights. I couldn't even talk. Well, I'm, I'm here now if you want to call him back. It's all right. I've already spoke to him. Um, how did it go? I know how Adam can be. It went all right. 
Yeah, well, uh, I reassured him that I got everything under control. And we even wished each other a Merry Christmas. Good. Good. I'm, I'm so glad, JR. I just want to be by your side. That's all I want. Because, you know, you're... You're my world now, and I, I want to be that for you, too. <sighs> hey, everything okay? It is now. Thank you for coming. Oh, okay. Daddy! Hey, there he is. Hi, Spike. What are you guys doing? Making Christmas cards. You are, huh? Well, I got an idea. How about we pack up all this stuff, I take both of you upstairs, and we finish the cards upstairs, give your mom a little bit of a break. What do okay. you think? Yeah? Let's okay. pack it up. Let's pack it up. Come on. Let's pack it up. Do you trust me? Well, you're my partner. And you're my lawyer. No, no, no. That's no, something. No, no. Real trust is something deeper than that. And I have a feeling that you don't have it with many people. Oh, well, no. Uh, you're right, I don't. Hmm. And when I do, it can take a very long time. Yeah, I know. It's a tough way to live, isn't it? With you, it has already happened. I mean, it's a gut feeling, but it's there. It's real. I do trust you, Caleb. Madison, wait, I need to talk to you. No, thanks. It's important. Not to me, it isn't. Madison, I know. I know you're pregnant. <laughs> 